Yeah, we're excited that FDA approved Ocrevus for both relapsing MS patients and for primary progressive MS patients just four weeks ago. And so we're providing a new treatment for relapsing MS patients where there is a need for drugs that reduce disability progression. And we, this is the first approval for primary progressive MS patients where patients had no drugs before. They were treated by just uh, symptomatic treatment and supportive treatment, but there were no disease-modifying treatments before. Yeah, no, absolutely, it did support the hypothesis. The hypothesis was that B cells were central to the pathogenesis of MS. And as we published in New England Journal, the Ocrevus uh, reduced disease, all three aspects of relapsing MS disease, reduce, reduction in relapses, reduction in disability, and reduction in lesions within the brain, and quite substantially. So it did, it did support the hypothesis. So we have a, a label that allows patients with relapsing MS and primary progressive MS to be treated. There are no restrictions on, on the type of RMS or, or PPMS that aren't treated. We also have no boxed warning. We also have no REMS uh, program as well. So we think this would be easy for patients to use. The other important point is that it's intravenous infusion, but it's only given once every six months. So patients only need to come to the doctor every six months for treatment. Next on our radar is European approval. So we are in active discussions with the European regulators, working with them very closely to try to get this to the European MS patients as quickly as possible. So this is the first approval for Roche and Genentech in neuroscience in a long time. And so we're quite excited that this allows us to expand our, our investigation into other neurologic diseases. So for example, in late stage Roche, uh, we have treatments that are being tested for Alzheimer's, for autism, and for spinal muscular atrophy. I think this really makes a nice uh, progression from when we published the data last year to mm -hmm. FDA approval. Now the data that we're showing here at the Congress shows that if you treat early in MS, we have efficacy with ocrevescent early MS patients. We have data that shows that ocrevescent has a rapid onset of, of treatment in MS patients. We also have additional data that shows that we have an effect on fatigue. Fatigue mm -hmm. is a very important uh, aspect of MS. 75% of patients have fatigue and we have data that shows that we have an impact on fatigue. And then finally we have our trials that are ongoing in open label and so we're gathering more and more safety data and so that presentation is tomorrow on safety and, we, and our safety data shows that we have uh, continued safety that is consistent with what we, sh what we showed in the double blind period.